हेलो माय डियर फैमिली मेंबर्स आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग वेल फॉर योर अपकमिंग कॉग्निशेंट एग्जाम टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू कवर वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज एचटीएमएल सीएसएस जावास्क्रिप्ट एंड सेकंड मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज एसक्यूएल सो प्लीज वॉच टिल द एंड एंड वेट टिल द एंड सो दैट यू डोंट मिस एनीथिंग एंड यू विल गेट द आंसर एंड द क्वेश्चंस एज़ वेल ओके एंड वन थिंग इफ यू वांट द प्राइम मटेरियल्स ऑफ कॉग्निशेंट लाइक ऑल द कोडिंग क्वेश्चंस विद आंसर्स ऑल द टेक्निकल क्वेश्चंस and all mock tests so if you want then please dm me at my insta id or please pay through the upi id given in the description box and pay 69 rupees give me the screenshot of payment to the instagram id i'll give you this uh, materials okay so let's start with the first question that is regarding html css javascript so please watch till the end for the sql questions okay so the question is regarding shopping cart so you are tasked with creating a simple web application that implements a shopping cart okay the application should allow users to add item displayed on the screen to a shopping cart table based on the number of times the add to cart button is clicked the quantity of the items should get updated in the shopping cart table okay so let me just uh, read the questions i'll give you the i'll show you the sample input output so watch okay the application should be styled with basic css to ensure a clean and modern appearance objectives are these are very important because these need to be followed okay create an add to cart button this is the first task create an add to cart button for every item in the items table under the action column the buttons should have unique id add to cart chips add to cart soda add to cart cookies for the item chips soda and cookies respectively okay so for all the items we have to create a add to cart button okay and we have to specify this ids okay and second task is give both the tables a border color border color this okay hex code okay complete the javascript code to update the quantity of each item selected to be added into the shopping cart complete the javascript code to update the quantity of each item selected to be added into the shopping cart okay fine so we have to create two tables okay one is for adding uh, adding the item to the cart and second one is for showing the quantity updated quantity of those items okay so let's do the uh, let me show you the sample input output okay so basically yeah so the sample output should be this okay sorry let's say this is the shopping cart okay and this is the first table and this is the second table and in the first table we have to we have to create these three add to cart buttons okay and when we'll click on this when we'll click on this this quantity should be updated okay this quantity should be updated let me so add to cart add to cart add to cart add to cart so it is getting updated okay so if i click on cookies then it should get updated as you can see it is updated so basically we have to create two tables one is having these three buttons with add to cart and second table with the quantity okay so i hope you understood the task so if you understood then please start solving the questions by yourself if not possible then watch till the end okay and if you want all the solutions of these html css javascript codes then please have our prime materials there will uh, give these okay so let me show you the solution so basically one another task was like uh, the border color should be uh, like the hex code was mentioned there like this okay has 0056b3 so this should be specified okay and also just uh, remember whenever you will create a button make the cursor pointer okay when you will hover on it it will be pointer okay so i hope you understood guys so let's start with the solution so let me show you the uh, html part at first so at first in exam as you can see this part will be given to you html css javascript so uh, in html you will have the uh, like basic codes like up to this you will be given okay you, you you have to write the code from here 
okay so at first the heading using h1 so guys please let me know how much do you have proficiency in html css javascript so actually i am assuming that you know basic of html css javascript you know you have you i hope you have basic understanding about uh, these tags like h1 table the thread and tr th okay if you don't know if you don't know then please let me know in the comment section so that i will give a more uh, more discussion i'll give you more discussion about this in the next video okay so uh, using h1 we are giving the heading okay shopping cart this is not mandatory but still i am giving okay so the main task was i have to create two tables okay the main task is like uh, the the problem the solution will be checked by system okay the solution will be checked by system so system will check if you have created two table tags or not so basically here i have created one table tag and ended here okay then another table tag was created okay so this is the first task you have to create two tables okay so system will check that uh, you have two tables in your code then you get one mars okay then it will check for the next objective if you have given that or not so we had to create three buttons okay so three buttons are there with the ids as specified there so this will be checked okay then the next objective will be checked by the system if that uh, that hex code color is given in the css page or not so this way the system will check if you have given this 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 or not so uh, actually this is additional whatever i have given it this is additional okay so you you don't have to give this so just ignore it so let me just start with the first so at first we have created a table with the border one uh, attribute and id items table okay and then actually i have given this id items table uh, you you can ignore it but still i have given due to give some properties in css okay but i have i have not given anything okay so then inside table head okay so inside table head we have a row table row okay so let me show it uh, this is the table head the first row is the table head inside table head we have two table item that is one is item and one is action so this will be inside th okay inside th so inside table row we have two th item one is item one is action okay this is the column name okay this is the column name then the table head is ended okay then we are starting with the table body okay inside table body at the first row we have a table data okay table data td okay inside table row first table row we have a first table data that is chips okay first table data that is chips this is the first table data okay this is the chips then uh, we are giving uh, the id to the next table data okay this is the first table data chips and for the second column we are giving the table data add to cart and we are making this a button okay we are making this a button and having this id add to cart chips okay so this is fine as you can see we have make we have made this a button and in the second column okay so just put it inside second table data okay then in the same way in the second row table row in the second table row just add this data soda and add this uh, button add to cart soda okay so as as you can see sorry uh, this is the first uh, table data and this is the second table data for second table row okay and for this one uh, and this is the third one okay for the first table okay we have done with the three item okay three rows okay then table body and table is ended okay table tag ended then for the second row for the second row we have made a heading shopping cart okay let me just uh, change it it is not mandatory so guys if you have not subscribed yet please subscribe to motivate me okay so that i will make more content on this okay so i hope you have done guys this doesn't cost anything okay so i hope you will do so okay inside the a second table we have made this same like cart table uh, we have given this id 
then inside table at first we are giving a table head okay table head that is uh, inside table head we have only one table row okay inside table head inside table head we have only one uh, one row okay in one row we have two column okay that is item and quantity two table data okay so inside one table row we have two table data sorry table head okay that means uh, the first item column name and second column name okay inside th okay then table head is ended then table body is starting with the table data and the quantity okay and the quantity as we have initialized this as zero okay so guys if you want me to more explain then please damn me or please let me know in the comment section okay so as you can see at the end of the table i have included the h sorry uh, javascript link javascript file okay so in exam as well you will see three separate file html file css file javascript file so inside html file you have to include or maybe they will include itself okay they will include the css uh, file and the javascript file as well okay just you have to write the code okay so let me show you the css file so for table we have given some properties like uh, this is not that much important but this is important we have given this color border color this is important because this is specified this was the task this was objective inside the problem okay so you have to give this color has 0056b3 you have to give this color to both table border okay so for this border as well, for uh, th and td we have given this table border uh, border color okay so this was the main thing you have to do so these are all are like uh, additional or you can say uh addition so you have to make the cursor pointer always okay just remember this okay and you can change the color of the button when you are hovering on it just change the background color okay using uh, like this way you can change the background color of the button when you are hovering on it okay so let me show you the uh, javascript page so i hope you guys having no problem still if you have problem then let me know i will try to assist you okay so at first what we are doing initializing the values of the chips quantity soda quantity and cookies quantity okay at first we have initialized zero all okay nothing is there okay nothing is there then we are initializing a variable like we are getting all the elements from the html page i have to take i have to take the control of this this is the second table as you can see let me show you this is the second table okay this is the second table and for the second table i have to increase the quantity of chips of soda of cookies when i'll click on the add to cart chips add to cart soda add to cart cookies okay so i have to take control of this chips quantity soda quantity this is id okay and cookies quantity these are the ids so i have to take control of this then i can increase this data okay so uh, just remember this id's name chips quantity soda quantity and cookies quantity so we are getting those control like in the first variable chips quantity element that is document dot get element by id chips quantity in the same way soda quantity and cookies quantity we got the control of those elements okay got the control of those elements now when when someone will click on the cart someone will click on the cart this is the event okay this is the event when i'll click on the cart this is this is an event okay so when i'll click on the cart so what would be happened that is increase the quantity of the corresponding uh, item okay so when uh, uh, so this is the this is what we have taken the control of this element okay so document dot get element by id add to card chips add to card chips so when someone will click on this click on this button add to card chips so add to card chips someone will click on this then what will happen 
this event listener should be triggered add event listener when someone will click then this function will be called that is chips quantity will be increased so this chips quantity which we have initialized earlier as zero this will be increased by one and the chips quantity element which we have got this access we will add add the text add the text that means inside this chips quantity inside this chips quantity this zero will be removed and one will be imposed there okay so i'll show you more uh, precisely just to wait okay so when someone will click on add to cart soda this event listener will be triggered click when someone will click this function that is soda quantity will be increased and soda quantity element this a dot text content using text content will add the text like this okay so whatever the soda current soda quantity that will be imposed to that okay so let me show you and as you can see this is all uh, similar as the earlier okay so i hope this is fine so let me show you okay so let me just reload it okay so uh, let me just inspect it okay so inside table sorry table 2 so sorry table body so we have given all the we have at first initialized all the quantity as zero okay as you can see chips quantity is zero okay so uh, if we add this chips to the cart then this should be increased as you can see one is here as you can see i hope this is visible to you one is here okay so we will click on soda as well so at first let me click on chips so chips five times six times seven times nine times eight times as you can see 15 times i have clicked on the add to cart and it is getting updated okay so 15 will be imposed here at first we had initialized zero but it will be updated as much as we will click on this add to cart button okay so let me show you for the third one that is cookies okay so for cookies it is right now zero okay so for cookies if we click on it then it will be increased why because we have added one event listener that is when someone will click on it when someone will click on it this function will be triggered the function is implementing that chips quantity increase and impose the text impose the text inside this chips quantity element this chips quantity element and update this value okay so guys i hope you understood still if you have any confusion then please let me know in the comment section and if you want uh, like if you want me to upload more content on this then please also recommend me which content do you want more okay like which company's content you want and which uh, particular subject particular topic you want more than uh, so that i will make those content okay so i hope you guys having no problem uh, with this if you having problem then let me know okay so I hope this is fine right now. So let me show you the SQL questions. So guys, uh, if you want the prime material still, please let me know in the comment section or you just have to pay 69 rupees using the UPI ID given in the description box and and also you just give me the screenshot of payment at this Instagram ID. Okay, we have like uh, we have like uh, Accenture, TCS, Cognizant, then Capgemini, Minai, Deloitte, Tech Mahindra, Infosys, and Joho, and all many, all many, many other companies. Okay, so if you want any of these, then please let me know. Okay, if you have an, if you have your exam tomorrow, still this will be helpful. Okay, so basically, what type of questions are asked in the uh, recent drive for SQL? That is, let's say, let's say you were given one table okay you are given one table there will be many other table linked with this okay there will be many other table linked with this but most of the time for the first sql questions you don't have to do anything with the other tables okay these are just for to diverting your mind okay just you have to do the task with the main table 
okay for the second sql questions you have to join okay you have to join but for the first sql questions most probably you don't have to write anything you don't have to join anything okay so basically what happening for the first sql questions that is you will be given some data some de uh, details about someone like for customer details or order details or anything school library anything okay so basically let's say this is the first name this is the first name this is the last name and this is the year okay so what they are telling like this is the year of uh, admission okay let's say this is year of admission and this is let's say the table name is admission okay admission so okay i'm not writing full so let let's say this is the admission table okay admission table this is the first name this is the last name and this is the year okay you are asked like please display the first name and the last name of the students who has admitted on that particular year 2012 2013 2015 14 etc etc anything specific okay then uh, let's say this is the first question and these questions can be asked to you differently just adding one thing sort this in ascending order sort this in descending order etc etc okay so and also they can ask you like they will give you the gender okay gender and you will be asked like uh, if the student is woman only for women display the table okay so basically they will specify as much as they can you have to answer this and i am very much sure that you will be able to solve the first skill questions from the without taking any help from anyone and for the second one i hope this will also be not by that not that much problematic but still uh, you can solve this okay but just you have to know about join and you have to know about aggregators okay nothing else so i hope guys this is helpful to you so if you found this video helpful then please subscribe this channel this doesn't cost anything please subscribe and share this content with your friends so that they can also take help from this and i'll also be motivated to make more content okay and if you want the prime materials then please damn me okay so thank you for today's session